Hello everyone, I'd just like to quickly run through these earthquake tide and alignments charts uh, and explain what the various elements mean. Okay, what you're looking at here is the earthquake energy that shows the absolute energy released on the day or the time period. In this case, we're looking at a daily chart. So this is, represents the absolute energy released in all earthquakes on that day. Uh, but there's a lot of days where there are significant earthquakes, but uh, perhaps it doesn't even register in terms of absolute energy. For example, this is probably a 7 or 7.5, and it doesn't really show up as much at all, and of course a 6 won't show up at all. So next thing to look at is the log of energy, where the significant earthquakes still show, and it's still based on the same system where we're aggregating all the earthquakes for the, for the day in terms of absolute energy and then putting them back into a log scale so they actually show up on the chart even though there might not be um, mega quakes like the Japan quake. Okay so the, the other next thing to look at is actually the total earthquakes on the day. Uh, this is what the scale on the left hand side represents and for example the, on 2002, November 4, we had 149 earthquakes, and of course, the day of the Boxing Day tsunami, we had 100. Whoops, it can't be that. Let's zoom in a bit, get it more accurately. Yeah, it's 160 earthquakes on that day. Um, so that's the total earthquakes. The next thing to look at is the sun moon alignments. This is showing you the full moon here is represented by a peak and the new moon by the dip and these are based on the orbital elements for the sun and moon. If we have a look at the 2006 to 2012 chart we can pull up the sun alignment alignment and uh, pull up the earthquake energy and you can see that nice pattern where we find these two major earthquakes occurring approximately on the sun alignment alignments uh, but however if we pull up the sun jupiter alignment we also find a very good match there as well for the um, earthquake in Chile on February 27. I'll zoom in on that a bit. Okay, and actually the Moon-Jupiter alignment, that also fits that quite nicely. It's not quite exact, but it's pretty close considering we've got both of them there. And of course, because that's referring to the Moon and the Sun being very close to the alignment, you're gonna find that the Sun-Moon is actually falling on that alignment as well. So it's actually quite an interesting date in terms of Jupiter, Sun, Moon alignments and that's when the earthquake occurred. So whether you want to blame Alan on that or maybe we should consider Jupiter as being an effect on uh, that area of the world causing that earthquake or triggering the earthquake. So let's go back out and have a look at some other things. Okay, so the next thing to explain on this chart are these labels Planet X and Dead Star. Firstly, these names have been derived from the NASA Pioneer 10 experiment in the 80s, and the chart depicted a Planet X and a Dead Star. And as far as the longitudinal position of the Dead Star, I've taken it as being uh, Betelgeuse in the constellation of Orion, and Planet X as being the, long the longitudinal position of the Pleiades. And I'm basing that on the earthquakes that have occurred recently in the last few years and in particular the Sumatra quake for the uh, dead star and we see that the moon uh, Orion alignment is almost perfect for this uh, Boxing Day tsunami and as far as the other earthquake uh, that actually was the Macari Island it was an 8.1 that occurred three days earlier and actually falls very close to the uh, Earth Moon Pleiades alignment. Okay, so firstly, let's have a look at an example or some examples of the Moon uh, Orion alignment and earthquakes. And just have to go back as far as uh, last year, and we've got the the uh, quake the 7.0 in Haiti. And if we have a look at that, we find it's actually reverse of this alignment. It's uh, this is looking at it from the moon uh, towards Orion. So if we're looking from the surface of the moon towards the Earth and Orion, you see that this is where the Earth is would appear to be uh, relative to the Orion. This is the top of Orion here. Okay, so let's have a look at another one. And we've got uh, the magnitude 
7.5 in the Nicobar Islands region of India on June 12 and as you'll see this is actually this is looking from the earth towards Orion and uh, we've got the moon here in almost an identical position okay another one to look at is the 7.6 in the Moro Gulf in Mindanao Philippines and this is on July 23rd and have a look at the alignment there and okay you can't really see it that clearly because this is again looking from the moon towards the earth and the earth is actually looking at the shadow side of the earth but here's the earth and it's actually a little bit past that alignment but it's still very close okay and another one to look at is the 7.0 the south 7 point, magnitude 7.0 the south island of new zealand on september 3rd okay that's at utc time and we see the alignment is there again it's actually almost identical to the, the one in the philippines a little bit prior to that okay so there seems to be a lot of significant earthquakes that occur in this particular alignment with the uh, the earth moon orion alignment okay okay so now i'd just like to quickly show you some examples of this uh, earth moon pleiades or earth moon planet x alignment and the first one we'll look at is uh this Macari island earthquake and uh it occurred three days prior to the sumatra quake and okay as you can see here this is uh again from celestia and this is looking from the earth towards the moon and here's the pleiades okay so the next example would be the one in indonesia which is a 7.7 .7 on october 25 and again looking from the earth towards the moon and it's a different month of course but there's the pleiades again so it's two in a row and of course the third one the third example i'll show for the moment is uh this one which is the 8.9, or it's a 9.0 now, uh, the tragic one in Japan. And of course, it's the same Earth Moon Pleiades alignment. And there's actually one more to be, to be shown, and that was uh, in Benin Islands. Let me see if I can pull up the page. Okay. Uh, on December 21, on 2010, we actually had Earth, Moon, and Sun all in alignment with Orion and uh, this is what happened we had the 7.9 in the Benin Islands oh no we got downgraded to the 7.4 but it was initially yeah, a couple of hours ago there was a magnitude 7.9 earthquake which is okay and I was actually expecting this one that's why I made the video that's why I was able to make the video even though it was heaven in the middle of the night uh, yeah so this is actually combination of them both earth moon sun and orion all in alignment and this is the blackest i ever saw the seismic the world seismographs go up until the quake in uh, march 11 this year in japan so i think there was something to these alignments um and i've got more to say about it and i've got some interesting things to say about these uh, tidal flows or the sea levels but that will be for the next video okay thank you for watching and uh, more to come